You know, 2008, out of high school, was able to make, you know, fortunate enough to make the Olympic team and compete at, you know, the ultimate experience in sports was the Olympic Games. I was fortunate to be surrounded by such great people from, you know, Brandon Paulson to my parents to my family to my friends and part of that being the U as well. There was a big part that, you know, that spark and that, that passion for wrestling, a big part of that was watching, you know, the Gophers win their NCAA title in 2007. And, you know, being able to go to the Olympic Games was an unbelievable experience and just really, it really brought home for me, you know, again, just a, a lifelong dream that most people have of getting to compete on that stage. You know, being able to have wear that USA singlet, wrestle representing our country, and just at the end of the day, just being able to compete and have fun and do what you love. Did it go the way I wanted? No. But did I, you know, carry an experience that'll last me a lifetime and learn more about myself than anything? Yeah. It was, it was an experience I still, you know, carry very close to my heart today, and I was just overall really excited, you know, it was being able to walk out of that tunnel during the opening ceremonies and have 110,000 screaming people, it might have been the coolest moment of my life. Another dream of mine was to run out as, you know, with the Gopher residents thing and compete for the Gophers. So I decided to come back to the University of Minnesota um, after taking a year off. And when I got back, um, long story short, I hit my head first day of practice. And after that experience, that was my true freshman year. You know, looking back, I'm actually thankful for my injuries. If I had to go through this again, I'd go through it again because it taught me how to be patient. It taught me how to fall in love with the sport of wrestling again. It taught me how to, you know, rely and, and have a good support system. And it taught me how to work again. And all because, so I am thankful. And at the end of the day, I look at it this way. When I wrestled in the Olympic Games, I, I was still a boy. It's just, it's, that's the truth of it. But I, I feel like I became a man when I came to the University of Minnesota. And that goes back to the coaches. It goes back to, you know, the Band of Brothers the guys that we had on the team, I would not be the, the father I am, the husband I am, the man I am today with one, without wrestling, two, without you know everything that I experienced at the University of Minnesota. And I do it all over again. And it, was, uh, it was an unbelievable experience.